Hi everyone and Jeremy, today we're going to talk about the Xiaomi's latest Robo Vacuum Cleaner, the X10 Plus. It's not a type of product that I often review on the channel, but this one has some interesting function. It can vacuum, wash, avoid obstacles and everything that is dust collection or water loading is done at its charging base automatically, which requires little maintenance and facilitates its use. I received this product being a member of the Mi Influencer on the Xiaomi Global Forum, which allows me to have certain products of the brand in advance. The links are in the description if you want to check it out. For unboxing, the vacuum cleaner arrives in a large, fairly heavy box with a lot of accessories. So there is the base, which itself already contains a bag for dust, the tank for clean water and the tank for dirty water. The vacuum cleaner has the main brush already installed and in addition it has documentation, a replacement dust bag, a cleaning tool, the power cable for the base and that's about it. I just had to remove the plastic cover everywhere, they are easily identified to make sure to not forget anything and it can be placed on its base to start charging. As you can see the base and the vacuum cleaner are white, it fits easily into a modern interior but you still have to think that the base must have a little space on each side and there must be enough space on a wall to accommodate it. But since a classic robot vacuum cleaner needs a place to recharge anyway, it's rather high up or it will need more than a regular system and it will necessarily go less unnoticed. There are therefore two parts in the system, the robot vacuum cleaner and in addition the charging base which is used to collect the dust but also to supply the vacuum cleaner with fresh water. To do this, simply open the cover on the top to access the two tanks, one transparent for clean water, one black for dirty water, both are 2.5 liters. On the front you have the location for the dust bag which contains also 2.5 liters, which correspond to about 60 cleanings and what is good is that we have different explanations on the lid so you're sure to not forget anything. Here you have a few buttons available to start cleaning, dry the pad so no need to necessarily have to use the application to start cleaning. A small point to take into consideration is that during the first test I was doing I had no water coming out of the robot and I found a comment on a video about another robot which explained that the first time it sometimes it is necessary to put water with a syringe in the pump system for it to work and to choose the most humid mode for the mop and it has indeed helped me. If we take a look at the vacuum cleaner itself, it is filled with sensors. For the main ones, it has a fall detector, an ultrasonic detector, a laser rangefinder sensor to map the room. I'll leave you the link to the product in the description if you want the full list. It has a camera on the front that will detect obstacles in order to prevent the vacuum cleaner from systematically hitting it and also detect if it can pass under furnitures or not. The vacuum cleaner goes around the room and then comes in zigzag past in each corner. We can see this easily on the application that I will show you later. The sensors allow him to avoid cables, socks, toys, shoes, furniture and this will allow him to pass 2 or 4 cm from the object rather than going inside to detect its presence. Which according to the object is not a big issue but for some other thing we want to avoid that. It works in most cases, there have been a few times when he didn't see a sock and took it away or just wanted to avoid it but wasn't wide enough in his movement. On the vacuum cleaner there are two buttons, one to start cleaning and another to stop and return to the bath. The hood opens to access the waste collector that you will have to clean from time to time in case everything is not gone in the base. If you turn it over you have a nylon brush underneath to catch dust around it, a plastic and nylon roller in the center and mop pads on the back. They have a system that holds them together when they arrive on a carpet. It works well, as you can see, as soon as the carpet is detected, the pads stop and rise. Here on my carpet that has a little long hair, it may touch, but you can also choose to prohibit this area if you are afraid of damaging something. It works with carpets up to 5mm, and as you can see, despite the thickness, it managed to pass over it. Once the cleaning is finished, or if the battery is empty, the robot returns to its base automatically and the base will collect the dirt. It must be the noisiest part of the process, which lasts about 10 seconds, and then it will recharge the vacuum cleaner with clean water. The parts are washed and then dried in a more discreet way for a longer period. I found the robot quite efficient in its suction, in its detection of carpets, it does not bump into each of the objects that are present in the living room and there is very little maintenance with the base which collects dust and dirty water. You can still come and clean your filter from time to time in case something gets stuck, but it's much less often than a classic robot. On the other hand, you will have to think about cleaning the base itself, the part where the pads are clean can be removed and, of course, an entirely wide device, the slightest dust can be seen immediately. For washing you should not put detergent in it, but I found that it was effective in many cases since it regularly collects dust or possible stains do not have time to become embedded in the ground. 
The vacuum cleaner is connected via Wi-Fi, which allows it to be accessible via the Mi Home application. I'll skip the addition, which is the same as any product of the brand, and the use also finally keeps the same principle as the other Xiaomi connected object. On the main page, we have a map of the detected areas, which is quite close to reality. We have the different passages that the vacuum cleaner could make in white, the remaining battery, the time it took to go around, about a minute per square meter, and it has a run time of 120 minutes. You can see the status and start a cleanup from here. We then have the possibility of personalizing the cleaning by choosing to only vacuum, wash or both at the same time. You can adjust the suction power to limit noise and even choose the humidity level of the map. In the personalized mode section, you can even choose these parameters by room if you want, for example, to wash your living room a little harder than the bedroom, which gets less dirty. If you go to the settings, you can start dust collection, mop cleaning, set different options such as automatic connection frequencies, program cleaning periods, see the use of consumables, and in short, it's quite complete. For the maps, we can create several of them, come and edit them if some made automatically are not precise, and above all, put restriction zone easily if you have a fragile carpet or an area where you do not want the vacuum cleaner to pass. We can also choose in the option to avoid the carpets, thanks to the recognition, and we also have an AI mode which must allow the robot to detect the different zones to adapt its cleaning. For the security part, if you are afraid that someone will steal your host plans, we can make sure that the plan remains local and they also have its UV Renland certification precisely on this point. For the price, it is available at 899 euros on the Xiaomi France website, so it's an every price for a vacuum cleaner in the end, because logically you can do the same thing with a hand vacuum cleaner and a mop, but given the characteristic and efficiency for this type of product, it does have interesting features. The vacuum cleaner has all the sensors you could need to detect obstacles, map the room, its basic systems allow you to limit maintenance, it is a design device, that fits into the interior without too much worries and yeah, it is effective and easy to use. So personally, I will not put so much money in this type of project, but for a device with so many options, it remains rather in the low range and it stays interesting. Tell me what you think of this robot in the comment and I see you in the next video.